The Kingdom of Bahrain speech during the 79th session of the UNGA delivered on behalf of His Majesty the King by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister emphasized that the Kingdom has pursued a development process that targets the Bahraini citizen as the main focus of all national development programs. More in this report. In the spirit of one team, Team Bahrain, this team has spared no effort in raising the name of the Kingdom of Bahrain in all forums and its impacts have been seen locally, regionally and internationally until Bahrain has been referred to as a model in the development process. Bahrain's speech at the UN clearly pointed to the importance of development and showcased the Kingdom's successes in this global forum to provide a living example of how the integration of capabilities can positively impact growth and prosperity. We have committed ourselves to ensuring that our citizens are at the core of all our national development programs. We have worked tirelessly to ensure that they are equipped with the skills necessary to deliver prosperity and growth to themselves and their community. The equation of development of citizens is not a momentary process, but an investment in national human cadres to achieve national renaissance, which is the equation that comes in this gradual manner. The development of individual reflects on the family. The development of the family reflects on the community. And the development of the community reflects on what Bahraini society can offer the whole world from successful and pioneering experiences in various fields that take into account the current challenges and achieve the results that many countries of the world aspire to. We prioritize the issues that unite us all. Housing, healthcare, education, and delivering jobs and prosperity. We focused our government ministries and agencies on a set of priorities, reached out to the private sector, civil society, and wove together a spirit of one team focused on delivering those programs. Considering that development and growth are two processes that result from a joint collective effort, the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain has been continuously enhancing and improving all services provided to citizens. Most recently, the completion of 500 services and 24 government entities, thus facilitating the customer experience and increasing the quality of life as a direct positive impact of this development. The participation of the private sector and civil society in the development process shows that the process of progress and development is a joint effort led by national responsibility for the sake of society, the nation and the world. And this is what the Kingdom of Bahrain was keen to illustrate in this important global forum to reflect once again its pioneering work under the spirit of Team Bahrain. And for more on this topic, we are joined over the phone by Shura Council member Hala Ramzi. Hello and welcome, Ms. Hala. As a member of the Shura Council, tell us about the priorities and the quality services that the Kingdom of Bahrain has worked to secure. Uh, good evening to you and to your viewers. Uh, of course, the Kingdom of Bahrain is always keen to implement the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa regarding the importance of uh, prioritizing citizens' uh, needs by providing them with suitable housing, health care, education, and appropriate employment opportunities. Uh, also, the government, led by His uh, Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, and the Prime Minister, is working to ensure that citizens' priorities are incorporated into the government's action plan, contributing to uh, achieving development inspiration enhancing the sustainability of services provided to citizens, improving the quality, and also utilizing uh, modern technologies in various fields to drive development across all sectors. 
This all aims to bring uh, prosperity and growth to the country and citizens by uh, raising the citizens' income and improving their standards of living. Uh, also, uh, Bahrain has established firm principles within its constitution, which guarantees every citizen the right to health care, uh, proper education, as well as uh, proper housing, which suits the uh, income of the uh, citizens, as well as takes care of the uh, economic uh, conditions, as well as the social uh, needs of the citizens. And from your point of view, how has the integration between the various sectors and government and private entities reflected on the achievement of the national goals? Um, in Bahrain, we have three uh, authorities, uh, legislative authority, executive authority, and the judicial authority. And these authorities uh, are always keen on continuous cooperation and uh, constant, co constant coordination with various entities such as the private sector, the civil society organizations, and all those uh, of interest, really. Uh, of course, according to their uh, speciality. Uh, it all begins, let's begin, say, with the legislative authority, where um, the legislative authority enacts laws and legislations related to ensuring a decent uh, living for citizens in various areas such as the health sector, education sector, as well as employment and housing. Then comes the executive authority, which supervises uh, the work within the government bodies to implement and apply these legislations in collaboration with private entities and those of interest. Subsequently, we have the judicial authority, which takes appropriate measures within its jurisdiction to ensure uh, the facilitation of services for citizens and to achieve the national goals that the Kingdom of Bahrain strives for to promote development, growth, and prosperity. So they all work together to really achieve the, the goals and the aspirations that uh, people of Bahrain are always looking for. Member of the Shura Council, Hala Ramzi, thank you for joining us. Joint teamwork for the higher national interest has been a motivation for cooperation and integration between various entities in the public and private sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain. More in this report. Achievements are made through solidarity and cooperation in the face of challenges, and aspiring towards future goals is the basis of the solidarity, and working as one team ensures reaching the goals sought by the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King, and in every event and forum, Bahrain is proud of its team. Team Bahrain is not only a slogan, but a spirit of joint work and an emphasis on integration and interdependence between all team members for the love of challenges and achievements. This team, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and guided by His Majesty the King's visions, aims to fulfill these visions. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, continues with the same keenness and commitment to serve his homeland and its people, along with citizens who assume their responsibilities with a high national spirit within Team Bahrain. In fulfillment of His Majesty the King's aspirations, ambitious teamwork continues from every position of Team Bahrain.
Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurated the 220 kilovolt electricity transmission station and the water distribution station in Hid Housing City. In the presence of the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Lim Salem, a number of ministers and officials, and representatives from the Saudi Fund for Development. The Deputy Premier affirmed that the ongoing development and modernization of the electricity and water networks is a reflection of the efforts to strengthen the infrastructure and support it with quality projects that keep pace with urban development and meet the demand of these two vital services to achieve the goals of the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that the government in line with its 2023-2026 program will continue to provide sustainable and high-quality infrastructure especially in new housing city projects. He also noted the government's keenness to raise the quality of life for citizens by increasing the readiness of housing projects with advanced infrastructure to provide a model housing experience with integrated facilities and services. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah hailed the president of the Electricity and Water Authority, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, and all employees of the authority for their efforts to improve government services and provide quality and efficient electricity and water services to all subscribers. He also praised the contributions of the Saudi Fund for Development and its role in financing infrastructure projects in Bahrain. For his part, the CEO of the Saudi Fund for Development, Sultan al Murshid, praised the strong development relations and close historical partnership between the Fund and Bahrain since 1976. In the presence of the Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh and the Minister of Social Development, Osama al-Asfur, 
The Mahfouda Zayani Humanitarian Award was launched with the participation of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation Secretary General Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and members of his Zayani family. In his speech, the Minister of Social Development praised the initiative to launch the award in the name of Mahfouda Zayani in honor of her career in the voluntary fields for more than 70 years, pointing out that the award reflects the Zayani family's awareness of the humanitarian and social sense, in addition to the award's contribution to consolidating partnerships aimed at building projects and initiatives that serve the interests of the community. He called on community members and institutions to continue this journey, stressing that the launch of the award is evidence of the Zayani family's vision to support excellence and social work. For his part, the chairman of the Zayani Investment, Zayed Zayani, expressed gratitude to the minister and all ministry employees for their cooperation and guidance in launching this initiative. The Auditor General of the National Audit Office, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended the opening of the Digital Transformation Conference organized by the Bahrain Chapter of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. Sheikh Ahmed highlighted the critical role of digital transformation and technological advancements, including artificial intelligence, across all sectors. He emphasized that these innovations are essential for staying competitive in global markets, ensuring growth, and enhancing institutional efficiency. He also highlighted Bahrain's leading global position in digital transformation, cybersecurity, and its strong technological protection framework. He noted Bahrain's various initiatives to support the growth of the digital sector in line with the Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. Iskan Bank formed a strategic alliance with the National Bank of Bahrain, Bahrain Islamic Bank, and the Kuwaiti Babian Bank Group. The partnership aims to provide joint financing of 250 million Bahraini dinars to support and expand suitable housing programs for citizens. The agreement was signed by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning and Chairperson of the Board of Directors of Iskan Bank, Amna Ramehi, Chairperson of NBB, Hali Yatim, Chairman of BISB, Zaid Khalid Abdurrahman, and Vice Chairman of the Board and CEO of Babian Bank Group, Adil Al Majid. The minister stressed the signing of the joint financing agreement comes within the framework of the active and continuous partnership with the private sector to support efforts to provide flexible housing options and solutions to citizens, especially the housing finance program. She praised the great cooperation of the participating banks by providing the necessary flexibility and facilities to complete the joint financing agreement. She added that such constructive partnership contributes to the kingdom's national economy by providing the necessary support for the realization of development plans and projects. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Interior for Nationality Passports and Residence Affairs, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, participated in an international seminar during the 57th session of the Human Rights Council in Geneva. In his speech, he highlighted Bahrain's achievements in human rights, attributing these successes to the royal vision of His Majesty the King and the support from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for ongoing reform projects. He emphasized Bahrain's proactive measures to combat issues affecting children and youth significantly referring to the Ma'an program launched by the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. He added that this initiative focuses on empowering youth in schools and has resulted in a significant 56% decrease in negative behaviors among participating students. Citibank Bahrain celebrated the third anniversary of the gold-licensed City Global Technology Hub in Bahrain, the first of its kind in the region. City chose Bahrain as the location for its center due to the diversity of talent available in Bahrain and its advanced legislative system, business-friendly environment, and flexible government support that provides incentives, training programs, and wage subsidies for the local workforce, which encouraged City to set aside 1,000 programming jobs for Bahrainis over a 10-year period. The head of the hub, Ilham ul Hajj said that the hub seeks to serve customers around the world, helping them to deal with challenges and opportunities of the rapidly changing world. The CEO of Financial Services at EDB, Dalal Buhajji, said that City Global highlights Bahrain's commitment to digital transformation, reinforces its position as a strategic center for financial services and technological innovation, and reflects the confidence in leading international institutions place in Bahrain as a destination for investment and global services. The Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture urged all sector consuming groundwater in Bahrain to update their data by November 30th. This initiative aims to support sustainable groundwater management and ensure water availability for future generations, contributing to the kingdom's water security. The Ministry emphasized the importance of community partnership in this effort, encouraging stakeholders to fill out electronic form available on its website or visit the local agricultural production department. 
The ministry remains committed to implementing development projects that promote sustainable groundwater management, recognizing it as the sole source of fresh natural water essential for sustainable future. Under the slogan, Using the Heart for Action, the Kingdom of Bahrain joins the international community in celebrating World Heart Day, which falls on September 29th every year. On this occasion, Bahrain affirms its keenness to provide comprehensive and sustainable health care by intensifying efforts and launching initiatives to projects that aim to reduce and spread the heart of diseases and factors that lead to them, as well as promoting healthy lifestyles to minimize the risk of cardiovascular diseases. This year's theme reflects the need to maintain heart health as an essential part of enhancing productivity.